Hello, friends. Happy Friday night. How are we? I have my new mushroom sweater on. So I'll stand back so everybody can see it. Because <laughs> when I'm up too close, it looks like I have some kind of weird half red dot circle. Hello, hello. Happy Friday, everyone. I see Carolyn is here. Hi, Natalie. How are you, Nancy? Jill? Who else is saying hello to us that I haven't seen yet? I don't see anybody on Facebook here yet. I see a whole bunch of YouTubers. So just want to wait and make sure. Oh, there's Christine is here from Facebook. And Carrie and Carrie and Karen. How are you? And Pam. Hello, friends. Happy Friday. How are we, my friends? I hope uh, you had a good week. It has been a week, as I have to say. And today, very sad day um, for uh, the scrapbooking community as a friend that I've known for a very long, lost her battle with COVID. So sending lots of love, I don't wanna cry, uh, to uh, Tanya Willis's family, her daughters and her husband. Um, very sad, 44 years old and uh, she, lost her battle today. So um, sending lots of love for my friends who may have known Tanya or um, just, you know what this community is like and that we draw um, so much love and the, the um, sorry, brain not working. The um, connections that we make through this hobby are amazing and it's always super sad when uh, we lose somebody we know and so young and uh, two young daughters and a loving husband. So I wanted to start my night out by that, saying that, um, sending lots of love uh, to all her friends and family and super sad day. So that super sad day that happened, there is a GoFundMe. Um, you can find it on Facebook if you just search Tanya, T-A-N-I-A. Um, there's a maiden name, name that I can't remember, but Willis is her last name. Wills, Tanya Wills. I'm terrible with names, so um, I will post it somewhere. But yeah, uh, I think it's Wills. But you see, when I, I read it, I only ever call her Tanya. That, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm a dork. I'm sorry, but very super sad. But, um, you know, I think collectively we just send our love out into the world um, and let Tanya's family know that we're thinking about her. So that was a rough thing that kind of happened today. And then uh, just a busy week. So how are you guys doing? I see some of you have posted. I saw our friend Karen in Germany was going to bed. She wasn't feeling well. So sending you lots of love when you watch us on replay, Karen. How's everybody else doing? Any birthdays that we're celebrating? Anniversaries? Any special days? Anything that you need a special hug for? Um, just let me know. Hi, Tammy. How are you, my friend Tammy White? Hi, Poppy. How are you? Um, lots of friends are here. So very uh, happy to see you guys here tonight. So right, this is our happy place where we can go when the rest of the world is really rough around us. Willis, say, thank you. See, I was like, am I saying that wrong? Um, and then thank you very much for um, letting me know that I was correct in that. Uh, yeah, it's just been super tough. And I need this tonight. So it will be good to catch up with all of my Vibu crew, my friends, and make a very simple project tonight because we are starting our little art study using a uh, bokeh effect. So bokeh is, um, I as I was reading, because I wanted to give it the proper definition, is I guess it comes from a Japanese word, but it means blurry or like a soft effect. And in photography, it's when you change your depth of field. So the background is all blurry and you get polka dots of light. So I, especially on Christmas tree and lights, you'll use the bokeh effect often. And I think it's a very fun thing that we can do a little study of with our art techniques. So tonight it's going to be masking and using distress oxide. And I opted for oxide because it is has a little bit more op opacity, um, which means it there is like a cloudiness to the layers of the ink. So I think it will layer really pretty. And we're gonna do a layout. 
So I have already printed a photo. I have some Fernwood papers. We're going to do the background. We're going to talk about that. And that is going to be part one of our Boca series. And I'm going to show you four different applications. Like tonight, I said, I'm going to use distress oxides. You can use whatever you want. Really, that will put down color. Pencil crayons, anything you could do this effect with. So, um, and then I'm going to also be using color uh, art crayons this week as well, because I know that there were some requests for that as well. Loving my sweater. I have to show you. It just arrived today. Isn't it cute with the mushroom on it? And then the back of it, see that pattern goes, that looks like one of my papers, doesn't it? So I am sharing that with you and I have to share this, okay? You guys are freaking awesome, and um, I often will go to the mailbox, do, 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 walk outside, and there are packages. And I opened this one, and I wasn't sure at first what it was, but let me show you. I have to set it up so you guys can see. So my friend BJ sent me, can you see what these earrings are? One half and one half of Yoda. Or is this not the best thing? Like, there's nothing better, I say, in the world when uh, somebody knows you really like something and they surprise you with it. it. It could be your favorite coffee or tea or hugs. I love hugs and I can't wait to hug again. But oh my goodness, it just, yeah, it it's pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. My little Yoda earrings, are they not the cutest thing you ever saw? So thank you, BJ. Um, they're awesome. I love them. So very excited over that. And then um, my sweater came today and I put it on. It came in the mail today with um, a whole bunch of other stuff. And um, I swore I was going to stop shopping, but I'm glad I didn't stop until I purchased the mushroom sweater. So, you know, whatever makes you, I, I really, really have decided whatever brings you any ounce of joy in this current climate of this world, you need to do the things, right? So I love it. Um, so very excited over my Yoda earrings. That was very nice. So I love it. So tonight we are going to, you're going to need either a circle punch or circle dies. And um, I have both out, but I use my punches. So that's what I'm going to run through with you. The other thing I wanted you guys to know is, um, oh, Access Only has been posted for Fernwood. So for any of my friends from New Zealand and um, Australia that have been waiting for that, it is posted. And um, as they come through, I will send the list to Natalie. So Natalie, be prepared for that. There will be an influx of people coming to find the private group for Fernwood. It is next weekend. Fernwood weekend is next weekend. I will be finishing the instructions all day tomorrow. So everything will be posted with links. I will give you specifics on fussy cutting that you can do ahead of time, all of it at some point tomorrow. Um, I'm actively designing a new collection. Like it has been two, two or three, two, three back to back collections. Like literally stop and start another one. This deadline's tight. So my focus is I don't have any time other than that. So I got all the cutting diagrams drawn out, all the cutting instructions written. I photographed all of the art. And now I just need to put it together on the document and put some written word there. So I just want you to know it is coming. Okay. It's coming. I'm very excited about it. It will be for tomorrow. And then I will post all of the information in our private Facebook group. So if you are joining me next weekend for Fernwood weekend, super excited about it. I think you are going to be very excited. If you're new, take a deep breath and hold on tight. It is fun. Don't stress. It's not allowed. Don't even stress. It will be good, right? Are you working on a Christmas collection? No, I am working on my fall collection. Well, the one that comes out in fall. So that is what we are actively working on right now. And it is, I am very involved in all of it. So it is, I sketch it out. I put the ideas together for the, today was the four by sixes and three by fours and the tag cut apart. So it's a lot of work when you think about it. That's a lot of art on one page. So we were doing that. And um, then I had to comb my hair and come down here for this. <laughs> so it is what it is. Hi, Natalie May. I see you here. So 
access only is posted. Okay, my friend, and I have lots, I owe emails, I owe responses, but like I always say, it's one Vicky and at least I'm here on Friday night, right? And I'm super happy for that. So I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to get started tonight. Before I do, while I'm, you have my undivided attention, did I miss anything? Was there something special? So uh, I see something's going on with Joan. So sending you lots of love. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but um, I will see it later. Uh, distress oxides, grab them. If you don't have the color palette I'm using, use whatever you want. Tonight I'm focusing on monochromatic, but I have lots that we're going to do um, down the road this through these four weeks of um, Boca effects is uh, we're going to do ones where we add, we're going to do ones where we take away, we're going to do watermarking. It's all going to be circles though, I've decided. So you can grab circle stencils, circle punches, uh, ink blending tool because it's round, um, a pencil we will use down the road. Um, you know, the little ink ones that you put on your finger, the daubers, like anything that is a circle that we can add and we can take away with. So um, that will be super helpful. Do you know how amazing, I was reading the question and then Krista, now I'm embarrassed. I don't want to say it out loud, but thank you. Krista was saying, uh, giving me a compliment, but look it. Thank you. Um, I was thinking it was a question I needed to answer. And then I sounded like all into myself because I was reading it out loud. So I just stopped. So um, I am very excited uh, to do some art with you today. Oh, my goodness. And we're sending lots of love out to Melody Lane and her son, Alex. I'm not sure what's, is it COVID or something else? But sending lots of love to them too. Hi, Irene. Sending lots of love always to you, my friend. Um, so yes, let's flip the camera and I'm going to apologize right now. Cause if you noticed, I'm having like some very delayed brain to mouth message sending tonight. So, oh my goodness. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just said, go with it. Right. But thank you. Joan was saying to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, make sure that you like, and subscribe to my page here on YouTube. And if you haven't already um, on, uh, make sure you're following and like the video on Facebook. And hi, Don, how are you? Okay, let's flip the camera and just do the things tonight. Because oh, oh, my goodness, we'll see how it's gonna go. There's all the stuff is set up and I'm ready to go. So the Boca technique isn't new. But I always believe that it doesn't have to, all ideas don't have to be brand new. The application can be different every single time. But um, I think for the Friday night lives to have something planned and something to look forward to makes it super, super helpful. So like I said, I am not saying I'm the first person to ever talk about the Boca technique. It's been around for freaking ever. Um, but I thought it was something fun that we could focus on and I could show you a bunch of different applications. So that is what my plan is for our next four lessons. I, um, am trying every week to, oh, that's my tea, got my tea ready. So, um, I'm not too much of a hot mess, right? Stay sassy is my mug tonight. Stay sassy with some strawberry tea. What are we drinking tonight? What do you guys have? coffee, all of those things. Um, Julie is saying, I've done this technique in photography, but never knew its name. Yes, B-O-K-E-H, Boca. And uh, it is something where you just change your depth of field to make the background blurry. And what happens is all of the little light sources turn into little circles. They're blurry and some are brighter and some are darker and they can look layered on top of each other. So when I sat down to play for some kind of idea for tonight, I thought, let's start with something that's pretty simple and straightforward. And I went with Distress Ink because a lot of people have ink. Um, you can use whatever you want. Like I said, for this, um, Darina's having a shot of tequila. You go, girl. Um, for this application, I'm going to do monochromatic. I'm going to make it very soft and subtle in the background and it's going to be really pretty. And then we are going to, when we work through the different applications this month, 
I'm going to do ones where we color the background and we remove uh, pigment. I'm going to do some that are in uh, a variation of colors. It's going to be really fun. So yay, diet root beer. What is Malbec? Is that beer, Don? What is Malbec? I don't know what that is. Is it wine? <laughs> Look it. I have tea. And that's about as much as my brain can handle tonight. See, tea. Dirt water, as my friend Lil would call it. Thank you, Keisha. Wine. Yes, I thought after I said it that maybe it was wine. Enjoy that wine. If I was having a glass of wine tonight, I'd be snoring halfway through this. I'm just, I am really am running on steam. And aren't you proud of me? Because remember I said I am scrapbooking with a purpose this year. So um, all of the Friday Night Lives, when I make a layout, it will actually be a finished layout that goes in my album. So I'm excited about that. Um, and Karen Napoli is here. And in case her son is in the background, a big happy birthday to her son, Michael, who um, my kids adore, Mikey. Um, and it's his birthday today. So I think it is super important that everyone say happy birthday when it's your birthday, right? So happy birthday, uh, Michael. I hope you're having a good evening and you enjoyed your chicken wings. So my idea was I did, like I said, I want to show you a demo or a sample before we get started. So I threw this one together. And the first thing we're going to do is prep the circles. So the circle masks, which I, if you followed me for a while, you will know I love circle punches. I think it is the one thing that you should invest in is punches and especially circles, right? Um, where did I get my sweater? It's actually from Sheen, S-H-E-I-N. And I have to say that uh, it is beautiful. It is, I ordered a couple of sweaters from Sheen um, and a couple of other things. And when I opened this one up, I was shocked at how pretty it was. So the quality is really, really nice. So very excited for that. So what we're going to make are some little masks. And look at how quick and easy these are. I used punches, five eighths, one inch, one and a half, and one and three quarter. You can also use dies. This is another thing that is great to invest in is any basic shapes in steel rule dies if you have a die cutting machine. You need to have the machine, the manual machine to be able to do this. Um, but it is to me a great investment. I love the ease and quickness of my punches too. So I do own all of the things. Now for these, what you wanna make sure is if your punch doesn't go in very deep, cause some circle punches um, don't go into the paper very deep, right? This one, you get lots of room around. So say you have one that only goes like this, you may want to punch your shape and then maybe um, add a border around it or put some uh, washi tape or paint tape, painter's masking tape, just so when you go to ink, you don't go outside of your little mask. Okay. Um, any sizes that you want to use are fine. You just want to do a, a variation of sizes. How many Smurfs were evicted to make your sweater? No Smurfs. Natalie, she's saying because they live underneath this toadstool, no Smurfs. But now I want a Smurf sweater. I just ordered, I'll have to wear it next week. Remind me, a Care Bear sweater. And it cost me an absolute fortune by the time it got to Canada. Isn't that crazy? So um, the sizes again are five eighths, one inch, one and a half, and one and three quarters, or whatever you have. Okay. And I'm not going to recut them all because I have them here and these will work just fine. Okay. So the one thing you want to keep in mind tonight is depending on what ink you're using, um, like this was fine and it didn't really transfer any color even when I layered new colors on top. So the only thing you want to keep in mind is be careful you aren't uh, transferring um, ink colors when you go and you're using the same stencil. If you want to be safe, just cut a different one for every color if you want to do that. Okay. Um, I love the Smurfs too. La, 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 la. 
It was one of my favorite shows on Saturday morning. The Smurfs and Gargamel and Esmeralda. See, I remembered all of the things. The ink colors I'm using for tonight is I decided to go with a monochromatic color palette. So this pattern is pretty and subtle, but it doesn't overwhelm the whole background. I am using Selvage Patina, one of my favorites, Mermaid Lagoon, Stormy Sky, and Salty Ocean. So I just went with four. You can go three if you have them. Um, you could even do one color if it's all you have. You're just going to um, make the um, strength a little bit different per layer, right? It'll be trickier with one color, but you could do it. You just might not have as much contrast, okay? So again, Stormy Sky, Selvage Patina, Mermaid Lagoon, and Salty Ocean. And again, I am opting for Oxide tonight because they have some opacity. They're not as transparent as regular Distress. If you only have regular Distress, use it. Use whatever you have, right? Question. Can, yes, Heather, I just answered that. Yes, use whatever you have, my friends, right? Um, you're the effect will be slightly different but still beautiful they used to call you mrs smurf because of your height or lack thereof oh my goodness margie my pocket pal she used to be called but it should have been smurfette smurfette not mrs smurf if they're gonna make fun of you they need to get it right um and very happy to say i booked a vacation um this week and I really decided I need it. So we are going to go to uh, Dominican Republic. We have booked and very excited if, oh, and guess what else? I just have to finish the contract for everybody who's been waiting. I have um, got my dates for 2023 for, uh, where are we trying to go? Alaska. So um, I just need to sign the contract this weekend. I will bring send it back over to Cruise and Crop. And if it's something you have been waiting for, I finally got that done. And this will give you lots of time to um, pay for that, right? You'll have a huge chunk of time to, if you want to secure a room, find a roommate or talk your husband into it or whoever you want to go with you. Um, I think it's the last week of June or the second last week. Maybe oh, I might be lying. It might be July. I don't remember. Contracts upstairs. But um, I did get that. And yay, that will be coming. Okay, friends. So I just wanted to let you know. I know a lot of you have been waiting for it. I did it. I have uh, just need to fill in the contract, send it in, put my deposit down, and we're good to go. So if that's something you've always wanted to do, this is what I can tell you. You get great rates when you do it under um, with the cruising crop because you get the group rates. So even if you wanted to bring like your whole family with you and only one of you is cropping, you still all get the group rates. So with the cruises are awesome. Uh, the one that we're going to, this is really crooked. Let me fix that. Um, the one we're going to in the fall is full. And uh, I have don't even know, Lynn, where it's leaving from. I'll let you know. I left it upstairs, so I will let you know. But it's going to be fun. I'm very much looking forward to it. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the big. So my idea, my little sketch for tonight, do you like it on my torn piece of paper, is that I'm going to do bokeh dots here, trailing down to the bottom it's going to be a one photo layout with very minimal pattern paper you can use whatever you have even if you don't have fernwood it does not matter okay you can make this but this is my plan so it's going to be layered layered bokeh up here and then trickle down to the bottom right yay yeah it could be vancouver or seattle it's one of, i think right does that make sense one or the other, right? It will be good. And I will, Margie, so much enjoy my vacation going away. I can't wait. So I'm going to start with Stormy Sky. And I'm going to be working away here. So if I miss something that you guys are asking me, or if you're just um, chatting amongst yourself, that's great. 
but now I'm looking down. So I'm not ignoring you. <laughs> I'm just not looking up while I'm working. Okay. So I'm going to go a little trick so that you get a nice result here. I had my scrap. I'll use this for right now is once I load my ink blending tool, some, you might want to start it on your scrap. So the wettest ink is absorbed into the scrap paper, not into your little bokeh circle. So start rotating before you contact or connect with the paper, okay? So that will give you a nice, even, smooth blend. So again, this first one is Stormy Sky, and I'm gonna do a couple of those and just get a really pretty circle. I am not going to reload my ink blending tool. I'm going to put another application down. I'm just going to use the same circle with whatever's left on the blending tool. So now I'm getting that first kind of um, variation of ink when it was fully loaded. And then the second variation, which is the same color but lighter. I'm going to just go in maybe with this size maybe over here and get that kind of light application. So again, did not reload my blending tool, but now see, I'm getting those um, different. Oh my goodness. My brain is so tired. I apologize. Uh, different. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> this is the kind of night we're going to have. So just buckle up, right? Different. Oh my goodness. The level of color. Somebody help me with the word. I can't pull it out. Different saturation. Yes. Or the, I, that's not, that's a good one, but it is not the word I was looking for. This kind of night. Shades. Thank you. Shades, hues, values. Thank you of ink. Oh my goodness, buckle up, my friends. It's going to be that kind of a night. Have a little drink of my tea. I might need a shot of tequila, Dorina. You might need to pass the bottle. Good Lord. Okay, and I'm just going to go, again, did not reload and see. Let's get whatever we can off of here because those light variations are what really make this pretty. So see, that was loading my blending tool once, and then I got the three variations of color from Stormy Sky and for fun. And because this is Distress Ink Oxide, you do not want to use the same blending tool between inks. Every ink should have its own dedicated blender because you will contaminate your pads, okay? Let's go in with Mermaid Lagoon because I think it'll be fun to show you a completely different variation of color. Um, when it layers. The other thing that is really awesome with oxide is in this sense, when I, if I go here and I'm going to layer another color right on top, it will cover the color that's underneath it. So let's be careful here too. This is like a powerhouse. When you go to load the Mermaid Lagoon, it is quite intense color. So do you see how I just went off first? And then again, moving my blending tool before I put this down. And then you can decide on how much ink you want. You could reload and put another layer on there, whatever you want to do. But now look at, we have a secondary color between the two where they've layered, right? And maybe I'll put one here. I'm going to load it again though, because I want it a little bit darker. And again, soft. And blend that color. This is going to take a little while because it's going to be the whole effect of just kind of layering. Um, I'm not loading it. I'm just going to give a really soft application. I like to start with the bigger circles just to kind of plan out my pattern. And then I'll start filling it with some of the smaller ones. Okay, again, not reloading. Let's 
put in a little soft one here. So this is what we do, friends. We're just going to keep layering. Just make sure that um, you keep in mind the pattern you want to create. Remember, mine's going to kind of be the heaviest at the top and then trickle down to almost nothing at the bottom. So the other thing as it trickles down is I will use a lot smaller ones down here, more of the bigger ones at the top. Okay, so keep in mind that you want to be aware of the pattern you're creating. Okay, keep in mind you want to be aware of the pattern you're creating. Will distress or dye inks work with this technique? I think they will, Lori. I think they will. Um, give it a try and just do it on a scrap piece before you commit to your full background, right? But this is going to be super pretty. And like I said, this is one application. There is no reason that we can't... Uh, intensity is a good word too, Vicky. I like that one. Um, there's no reason you couldn't come back in here and do this in rainbow or do it in three colors, like a, a pink, a peach, and an orange if you wanted to. But for tonight, to keep this easy and make layering really easy, I think applying it in just a monochromatic blue or whatever color you are choosing will work really great. Hi, Penny. How are you? And hello, Brienne. How are you? So happy to see you guys here. So I am going to just keep going. Let's go in with aged or salvaged patina. I love this one. Is Tim going live tomorrow? I saw that he was making a mess on his desk. Was that because he's going to go live? Because I will pop him on while I'm writing my instructions tomorrow. If that is the case, I would most definitely love to see what he has up his sleeve. So this is Salvage Patina, and I'm going to make this one fairly dark. Yes, he is. Yeah, I'm going to have to check it out. What, what, do we know what it is for yet? I have not really been on social media or anywhere, so I am a little out of the loop. Like when I said I've been working, you will notice the only thing I've posted is what I've been eating this week on my... Uh, Vicky Booten Health page on um, Instagram because it's the only thing that I've been doing that I actually take a minute for is the food. Okay, let's go with this size. And again, you as we keep building, we're going to go right into some of these circles with uh, color. Let's do that just here. Again, did not reload. Oops, don't do what I just did. Did you notice that? I just buckled this hole because I was pressing too hard. Don't do that. I might have to cut another one because I might have messed this one up yet. We'll see. Still working. So we're just going to keep building. That's all I'm going to do here for a while is keep building. Hi, Valerie. How are you? And um, thank you, Nancy and Joan, and congrats on your uh, retirement. I'm so excited for the Fernwood weekend as well, Carolyn. He usually goes on at noon, I think, Lori. Nine his time, noon. Well, yeah, for my Eastern time. So, um, yeah, I will be there. So if you see me there and you're watching, say hi to me. Okay. Okay. So did I do salty ocean already? I don't think I did. Let's go in there with some salty ocean. I do it like that. Just be careful because when you add that in there, when it's fully loaded and wet, depending on the paper you're using, like it works pretty well with um, the foundations paper because there is like a coating on top. And uh, thank you very much, my friend Don, for the shout out for uh, the card that you posted and talking about foundations paper. That was very much appreciated. 
Um, my friend Dawn here is the owner of W Plus Nine Stamps and she is an amazing artist. And she was posting a project she created using foundations paper and just talking about how much she likes it for coloring. So thank you very much. And that is what I'm using on the background. If you're new is foundations paper, which is part of my collection with American crafts works really well with wet mediums. Um, it has lots of body to it, right? Hi, Don. How are you? You made it. I haven't been here for uh, way too long. I'm very happy to see you back. So let's go in now with some smaller ones too. We can start filling some space in. So again, I'm not reloading the blending tool just to get almost like um, six shades out of one color, right? I can get six shades out of kind of the one color. So a fun thing we can do too is get right in there and almost layer a circle right on top of another one. Because you're going to want to do that as we start building. It's almost like you threw confetti down. When bokeh um, happens, it the lights and circles will overlap. So it's something to keep in mind as you're laying them down that you want to do some on top of each other. And like anything I do, I always start with the larger sizes and then start adding some of the smaller sizes. Because if you start small first, you will find that it is super easy to start getting kind of that like sticker sneeze look where it's just a lot of business going on with no real rhyme or reason. So just kind of keep that in mind when you are layering that you don't want that kind of sticker sneeze look. Okay. And my um, photo is going to kind of be placed here. So I might build a couple out and then floating down here. So let's go in with another big one. And I am going to layer, I think the salvage patina here. And keep your blending tools organized so you're using the right one with the right color. So anyone out there using uh, regular distress and what kind of, um, results are you are you getting or are you using a different like a simon hurley ink or um the what's whatever pooler i don't remember what her first name is i just forgot um are you using a different ink and what kind of effects are you getting it can happen right the whole sticker sneeze effect so you will find if you're using distress and not oxide, um, you will see the other color um, will come through more. So if I was using a red and a yellow, I would definitely get an orange effect. You don't get it as much with the oxides because Catherine Pooler, thank you. What does sticker sneeze mean? Do you remember back in the day when people would just put stickers all over like no rhyme or reason? I still see it. It's, it's something when people are designing you know, when you go to put embellishments down or uh, always keep in mind when you're layering a lot of something that it should cluster. So I am having a lot cluster at the top and then just kind of float down the page. If I went and just covered the whole page in um, circles, it would be pretty, but it would look more just like a sheet of pattern paper. So I'm trying to build my pattern in a... Um, in a way that uh, it is appealing in the end. And it's not just a whole bunch of pattern all over the page. So that's the same idea with sticker sneeze back in the day when we would just started scrapbooking and stickers were really the only embellishment we used that a lot of people's whole background would just look like you threw stickers all over the whole thing. And we used to call it sticker sneeze because there was no rhyme or reason. They were just all over the background. 
So it's the same idea when you are doing a mixed media effect. You want to make sure that uh, it's balanced or at least has some kind of rhyme or reason or pattern. And hello, Robin. Hello, my friend. I have missed you. I hope you're doing well. Uh, Vicki Booten question, is there a ratio of how many large circles to small circles? Not really. I start, I'm, I'll start building, but then you don't want too many large because you still want um, some of the white to show through. Uh, you still want some balance with your white space. So I almost feel like I'm almost done with the largest size up here. I might float a few more down, but I'm going to start now with the second to largest and start filling in. What is Robin doing? Why is she singing? I missed it. I missed it. I want to sing too. I'm going to punch a new one because do you see? I bent it and now it's just going to keep bending. So let's grab. I had some extra cardstock and I need the one and a half inch. I missed what you're doing, Robin. Are you at karaoke? You are at karaoke. Have fun, my friend. I love karaoke. I love karaoke. Okay, so let's add some more. Let's do one off the side here. I'm going to go in still with my salvage patina. Maybe a little bit of a lighter finish. Uh, thank you, Sandra. I love these colors, too. I am a little partial to the um, blues and the greens. I love this. Is a, could be a pretty, um, if you had maybe snorkeling picture, too. If you like to scrapbook kind of literally, then this would be very fun for kind of underwater. So I went very light there and layered it. Let's go in with another color. And then I'm going to finish now. Do you see I'm filling in? I went to the second largest size. And I'm going to start filling in. And then I will go to the two smaller sizes and move the way down. Vicki, uh, you could bring back smelly stickers in your fall collection. Pumpkin spice, spice smell. I love it. I love it. Hi, Diane. I know I, I owe you an um, email. I saw it today. It's just typical Vicky craziness, right? So I will send you the link for it. Uh, for color study, isn't there a private, was there a private group? I don't know when we started doing that. Because that's, if you have linked there, then you should be able to access the information. But I will uh, take care of that. I will find the link and send it to you for the album. I am not forgetting about you. I promise, promise. So let's throw one here, very light. And then just keep going, friends. Just keep layering. Um, we need this color up here a little bit. It's coming, Pauline. Like I said, it's good to start somewhere. And so we're just going with monochromatic this week. And then we are going to look at adding more color as our uh, four session study goes. Right? But I thought this is a good place to start, especially if people are a little bit nervous with the whole layering aspect. And then we can come back and definitely... Um, look at um, some more color. Okay, I'm done with that for right now until we go to a smaller size. What color do I wanna go here? I think I'm gonna go in again with Salty Ocean.
very light application so I can see those other colors shining through underneath. Is anybody playing along with me tonight or are you uh, resting? <laughs> I know sometimes, right? It's, uh, you have some hard weeks. So I know sometimes you guys just join me for the company and we'll um, decide to come back and do this at a later date. And I know some of you craft along and some of you might be brand new here. So welcome if you're brand new. See how it's coming together, friends? You're playing. I love it, Carrie. And I thought tonight could be one. I know you always play and you always post. I love it, Irene. Um, I thought tonight would be an easy one if you did want to play along. Like a lot of people would have what they need to actually craft tonight. Like it's not um, tools or any kind of... Um, mediums that you have to order first a lot of people would have what you need to actually play along tonight so that's kind of fun and you'll be surprised because sometimes you feel like there's no ink on here but those really really light circles are super pretty okay Let's decide. I'm going to go in now with the next smaller one. And I'm going to pick Mermaid Lagoon. And start filling in a little. I am going to layer this right on top of this other circle. Look how fun. It will really start to come together now. Uh, when we start layering and then you start building up your um, depth of color. Okay. I think one right here could be really cool. So stop, take a look kind of assess and then add, okay? Darker one down here. Gonna go in with another color now. Rough week at work and came home to find my water froze. Oh no. So yes, definitely, Loretta, just relax. Put your feet up. Have a cup of tea or something stronger. Um, and just take care of yourself. Robin is eating a late dinner. I'll catch up over the weekend. Very fun. Yes, we had... Um, is my friend Patty here tonight? Have we seen Patty? Patty, if you're here, speak up. Um, I know Patty went and got her vaccination, her booster today, so I'm not sure how she's feeling. Uh, I'm going to put one here. What color I want? I'm going to go in with Stormy Sky. I'm kind of digging that grayish color. And I want a darker one down here. Oh, my goodness. So sorry, Kristen. Sending you... Um, Lots of love. Let's send lots of love out to Kristen. You know she is a long time uh, Vibu crew member and Kristen just said that she lost her father earlier this week. So sending you so much love, my friend. It's so, so tough. Um, so thinking about you. Um, hi, Dion. How are you? Uh, to all our new friends watching for this first time, yes, welcome. Welcome. And I saw a question, how do I know when to stop? Uh, that's the question, right, Lisa? How do you know when to stop? I don't feel like it's heavy enough here yet, so I'm going to keep filling, and then I will fill a little bit more. Like I said, more here. I feel right now that it's kind of a line, so I'm going to make some of these flow down a little bit. But, yeah, that's the question. And I will go back in with some of the bigger ones again to layer on top as I'm building but I will let you know when I'm getting a little bit closer, okay? 
Yes, we have quite the family here. So um, Kristen is has been around for a long time and I can only imagine how tough um, your week has been. So sending you um, some much needed love. You know, it's one of those you don't, I don't even know what to say other than I'm so sorry for your loss and um, I hope you and your family are doing okay. You've entered into sticker sneeze space. You can bring it back, Carrie. So now instead of filling your white space, start layering on top. Okay. Here's the other fun thing, my friend, is um, say you do feel like, ooh, you don't like what you're making. Don't give up on it. Keep filling it in and use it as a pattern paper. And then you could uh, uh, die cut butterflies out of it, run it through your silhouette and do a title out of it. So that is another thing we will be looking at is what you can do with this as a full background. Because I think when sometimes it gets too much that um, making a contained funk by cutting a shape out of it and then layering it on something that's um, solid and rests the eye can make this pop. So it's never, you never have to turn back. Maybe you don't won't end up using it for what you initially intended but it still can be super amazing. So I'm gonna go in with this bigger one right here. I'm just really loving what's going on here and I don't want white space there. So I'm layering now the bigger circle right on top because I'm loving what's going on right there, okay? Because you see sometimes when the small ones come in here then it starts to look a little sticker sneezish. So you go in and you can just kind of fill it in a little bit. And then look, when we go in with like a little one and put it here, let's pick a color that is very contrast. Let's go in with Selvage Patina. Let's see what happens with a lighter color on top of the darker color and what kind of effect will we get? Because, oops, I think I just mixed two colors here. Where did I put the other blending tool? There it is. Okay. It is, at least it was a light one. But let's fix that. This does not go with that. that goes with that okay I don't even know what I did there I did something okay I'm gonna put light right on top of it and because it's oxide you couldn't do this with distress regular distress but you can with oxide it's magic look at that color just layered right on top. Do you see where that um, lighter turquoise on top of the stormy sky? So pretty. I love it. So I'm still leaving some white open space. And I'm also layering. Careful when you get in with the small ones, oh friends. It can really start turning into a hot mess. So just be careful. Proceed with caution. Let's go in with a different color. Keep your colors separate. I'm going to put salty ocean here. That is not the salty ocean tool, but we're going to go with it. I'm going to go big again, a big, big one right here with salty ocean so that it's kind of bringing them together and they aren't just kind of all these random shapes hovering around. Um, and now I feel like this is almost done. I feel like I'm gonna walk away from this and start filling in down here and then I'll come back up. Okay, I'm gonna start filling in some of this space. And some of these might even be covered with my pattern paper by the time I'm done. You know, they might even be covered with the pattern paper. What are we going to go in with? Some salvage patina. I 
like I won't go with the bigger ones now as we start to go down here. I'm going to fill it with the smaller. I might want one to go off the side right here. Let's find that medium size ish or the big. I'm going to go big right there. And I'm going to go in there with whatever is on here. I think this is Mermaid Lagoon. I just want it to be light off the side here. And now the size. the size sorry I'm not looking how are you doing Kari started my treatment for multiple myeloma this week hanging in there and so glad to be here um, sending you lots of love Kari how you doing um, are you feeling okay Oh my goodness, friends, just freaking life is tough, man. And I'm thinking about all of you and that's what I was saying. Um, I was chatting with some friends and I was saying I'm very heart sick these days. You know, I come on and, and um, have like a happy, yay, everything's awesome. But I, I know life has been really, really tough lately. And uh, just know that um, I'm sending you lots of love because it's freaking hard sometimes. But I'm very glad we have each other here. It certainly makes... Do you see it starting to come together, friends? It certainly makes life a lot freaking better when you have a community of people when you are struggling that you know it's a safe place and i hope you guys certainly feel that way here um, because it's what i've been trying to build i want us to have a really safe place to come and um, to connect and i hope you guys feel like um that's what happens here. Hi, Shelly. How are you, friend? Okay, I'm just building a couple little polka dots now. I need another one of the second largest there. I don't want that color. I need something a little bit more boring. I just licked and wiped that off my table. Did you like that? <laughs> That's what just happened. I licked it. Okay, so now let's do some little overlappy ones. And I feel like we're in a pretty good spot here. See, need to have some of that layer on top. that color. Let's go in with a soft patina. Little dot. Oops, now I have to fix that. Do you see what I just did? I got crazy and went outside the card. So we can fix that. There. Go in with
a different color. What do we want now? Salty Ocean we haven't really used for a minute. What are you thinking, friends? Like, I, I feel like um, I just need something up here, and then it's time to stop. Maybe something down right there, too. A little one. And then it's time to stop. And we can build the layout. Yep, yeah, no more little ones. See, this is what ends up happening, so I don't really love what happened there so let's layer that on top for some of these ones. See, I'm just putting a little bit of layers on top. Let's go in with that and the small one. One more here. You're gonna laugh. I'm going with the big one there. How we doing, friends? I get see, I get like right focused in my work, and then I'm totally ignoring you. <laughs> oh, Vicky, are you actually on a Facebook Live? That maybe you should um, read the comments. Oh, yes, I forgot. Um, one more here. Big one. And then you'll laugh. I'm going to come on top of that one because it blurred a little bit. And I'm quite happy with that. I am quite happy with that. Don't contaminate, Vicky. There. Don't you think? Know when to stop? I am quite happy with this. So now we're going to build the layout. What I will do just to make sure it, well, actually, we'll, we should be okay. I was going to say I was going to go in there and um, I was going to go in and uh, just heat set it. But I think we're okay. See, some of the little ones that I layered on top and then blended out, I'm just crisping up a little bit. But it's fun, right, friends? And let's just see, this one is very light of that one color. I almost can't see it, so we'll just add a little bit. I don't even know what it was. Okay. 
There we go. A little bit more. <laughs> I'm a liar tonight. I keep saying, oh yeah, I'm done. I just need to crisp the edges up of that because it's a little too soft. There we go. Now I'm done for real. Very happy with that. So there you go. There's a shadow thrown by my... Let's see. Just look like little fish eyeballs, right? Looks great. I wouldn't know when to stop. This is where I will stop because I feel like the um, pattern is fun. Uh, but if I went too much more, I'm going to lose the detail. Oh, I don't want to lose the detail. And don't forget, Jen, even if your battery dies, this is all recorded. So even though it's live right now, um, it is still recorded, right? So you can come back and watch the end if uh, your battery dies and you can't see uh, the finish. Because now I have a page I can add to my kind of recipe book. And then I also have, and I'm going to be doing that, I think, every week I'm going to do a six by eight. Hi, Angie. How are you? You finished your Warm Wishes album. I love it. Question. When, excuse me. When choosing the monochromatic colors, how do you know which ones will go together? I only know because you tell me which to use. I love it, Karen. Um, I think with this, if is, their warms would be fine. If they're cools, it would be fine. Uh, so if you use reds, you could use reds, pink salmons. You could use, add an orange in there if you want. If there's yellows that you were using in the background, I would just use yellow to orange and anything in between. So that's pretty much kind of how I would do it when I'm blending in here. Hi, Lee, how are you? Hi, Rosa. Friday nights are such a blessing to me, Vicki, especially after a long week of internal medicine. I bet you. Thank you for everything you do. I'm exhausted and very achy with the weather changes in New Jersey. We're expecting a snowstorm tonight, six to eight inches. Good night as I'm going to sleep. We'll watch the rest tomorrow. Take care of yourself, Rosa, and I'm glad you could share a little bit of time with us. Glenda, see you later, my friend. And now I'm going to make the layout, and you're going to watch how quick this is going to be tonight. Because we don't have to make everything super califragilistic layered, right? And you might even look and go, you're really going to use blue on the background with that photo? And I'm going to say, yes, I am. Yes, I am. I was deep in thought. I was concentrating, Joan. I Right? Uh, do you have to use four colors always? Definitely not, Lori. Definitely not. You could use two colors and probably could have got a really great effect. You could use three because don't forget, because we're using different um, intensity and um, layers of the colors, you're almost getting two or three shades out of each color that we chose, right? Hi, Monique. How are you? Uh, my family is doing well. Devin went and got her first tattoo this week. And I know some of you will be judges. You don't like them. My husband doesn't like them. My mother is not really a fan. I love them. I love it. We looked for a long time to find an artist that we really liked. And we found one. And he did a phenomenal job. And I wanted one. So now I'm like, where does this old lady put it on her old lady body? Um, but uh, we did that. So that was kind of fun. And what else happened around here? Devin's working hard at school. Riley is on his placement. He is going to school for, oh my goodness, I love this. Friends, I think, don't you think, um, one of the things I'm, I'm going to tell you this top secret thing anyway, because I just feel like it. One of the new things that I'll be working on for the release that will come out like in the summer. The, it's the fall release, but it's not really fall themed. I just go with a little earthier color palette. Um, will be a new ready-made backgrounds. Don't you think something like this would be a beautiful uh, paper to add in the ready-made backgrounds? I'm an old lady and I got one on the inside of my wrist and the other one on my foot. I love it, Diane, man. Um, I have one on my ankle and he doesn't do uh, cover-ups or add to other tattoos. So now I'm thinking that's where I wanted it. I got to think about where I want it. But his art, 
art is absolutely stunning. His name on Instagram is um, Faded Canvas. Uh, and absolutely, Rye is phenomenal. Like it was, his artwork is beautiful. Black and white, uh, predominantly flowers, but absolutely amazing. Um, I got a do, do, do. So yes, don't you think that something like this would be nice with the pre-maids? So um, uh, it's flowers, a big, she got a big um, peony, open peony blossom with cherry blossoms around it, all black and white. Um, it's just stunning. I wish I could have his his art in stamps would be the best thing in the world. Absolutely beautiful. So the other thing I would like you guys to give me an idea of is what you would like to see in the ready-made backgrounds. So this will be, I think, the third or the fourth pad, and it would be nice. I'm going to put some of my gel plate art in there, um, but I would love feedbacks on colors that you would like to see, patterns, things that you'd like to see, because I'm going to be working on that <laughs> when we're done. The um, Fernwood weekend is the next thing I have to work on, is doing a whole bunch of original backgrounds to send, but I think this would be a really fun one. I think this exact back ground idea this color palette even I think would be fun right so oh, for sure I put all shades you know there'll be pink there'll be oranges yellow blues combinations right dragged paint marks love that I, I'm gonna do a whole bunch of different things so I love that Nat um, but let's make the layout now so my idea right is now my photo oh I love it look how fun that's going to be it's just gonna fit perfectly in here I'm gonna layer it with a couple of different patterns and then I'm gonna put some title work on it but not much more I don't feel like it needs it right sometimes just that pretty that we did in the background is enough so I love it I love it so I grabbed a couple of different pieces prior there is no blue in this photo at all except for my eyes my eyes are blue so i guess that we could do that right vicky boot would you ever consider creating a boy collection lisa i will never do a specifically themed collection other than travel and christmas because i know you're gonna hate this but boy collections don't sell as well as stuff with flowers in it. So I try to make sure, if you've noticed, every collection I do have papers you could definitely use for boy layouts and ones that you could use for girls. Um, but when you say a boy themed collection, like what would that be? Do you know what I mean? Like what would, if, if it was, I'll never do anything that's kind of like um, juvenile themed because it doesn't really reflect what I create. So, um, but I would love to do more elements in there that you guys could use for boys. And that's why I try circles, stars, things like that. But it's really hard. It just, it doesn't do, it just, they just don't do as well. And I know for you guys out there who love that kind of stuff, you're like, oh, I would love it, but it, they just don't perform. And because I only get two collections a year, um, I can't do theme stuff. I want to do another travel line. I'd like to do another travel line, but I try to do abstracts or in my papers. Um, there are stripes and there are polka dots. And there are, um, if you like look through color study, it's definitely not just feminine, even Fernwood. There's tons of papers and things that you could use for boy layouts in here. Right. But um, yeah, there, there aren't any genders to it but the patterns i always try to put things that aren't like florals would because i think you could why can't you use flowers on a boy page and i think times are changing right but yeah it would never be totally themed if that makes sense right i know i've been asked a lot of times and it's like mm, probably not i'm not gonna lie to you it's probably never gonna happen that there will be a complete themed line unless i got to do one more collection right um, so I'm going to layer on here now some contrasty, but I still want to tie the blue in. So I think these are the three patterns I'm going to use on here. I'm going to put the blue closest to the layout, and then I'm going to layer these other two colors on here. Here's the other thing that I found, and I don't 
know what you guys, how you're finding it in COVID times. And I know some of my um, American friends, um, your world has kind of gone back to pre-COVID times. Well, here where I live, it's not. Like, I, I'm not living much of a life aside from working and whatever happens in my home and whatever we're making of it. Do you know what I'm saying? So uh, one of the things that has definitely uh, resulted from that is I have not taken a ton of photos. I'm not really in the best mindset where I'm really celebrating anything other than getting up in the morning and trying to stay positive. I feel like we're getting on, um, we're, we're coming around a bend right now. I feel like that's happening. But if that makes any sense, I have not been taking a ton of photos because it is, so you could definitely go like this and just stay with your whole monochromatic tone if you wanted to, and you could layer your photos in blues. But um, yeah, that is the, what I'm finding right now is um, I haven't taken any photos of food. I photograph my food. Because uh, for all of my friends that have joined Gina Livy with me, I'm trying to um, in inspire you to cook some healthy food options. So uh, that is the only other thing that I have done is I photograph my food and post it on my, um, my uh, second Instagram account. But other than that, I don't know. Like, I freaking get up. I work. Um, I make meals for everybody. I clean up after the meals and then I crash. And I feel like that is pretty much, if you ask me, what have you been up to, Vicki? It's pretty much Groundhog Day around here. The same thing every day. So um, it's hard to find and print photos because I don't have a freaking life. I, You guys are like, I am not lying are a lifesaver because I can come here and hang out with you and it gives me something to look forward to. But beyond that, really, oh my goodness, there's not much else going on. I don't know if I want the green on here. What do you guys think? I'm kind of digging that. Maybe a little bit. I'll put a little peak of green. We'll cut a little piece of the green. We'll put that on there. Or the craft. I had the craft out, but I think I want to keep it cleaner. It's Groundhog Day. I'm not going to lie, you know, and um, I was talking to one of my crafting friends and she was saying, oh yeah, that's, it's not a, a thing really here anymore. Like we're out doing all of our things. I said, it's not the case here. We're still on lockdown, but it's coming around. And like I said, I'm all for whatever the general good is, but it has certainly changed my whole crafting scrapbooking world because I have not been on a vacation. I have not, um, in the summertime is a little different, right? Because we're outside. But in the winter months, I was talking to another crafting friend. Actually, I think a lot of people are having a little bit of a hard time right now. And I also think it's majorly January blues. I think it is a real thing that uh, winter months, with it being dark early, um, that it's tough. Anybody else finding that? Like, I'm just ready. I'm ready now for spring. My husband says, I've taken so many pictures of our cats and dogs. I get it. And your husband should just support that, Melissa, because it's what's keeping you sane, right? You took photos of the snow. Uh, that's awesome, Jane. I should have, but I don't, I haven't been outside. I love this. I see cookie monster eyes. I see eyeballs in it too. I think it's very eyeballish. It's very fun. But January is a tough month. It's a very tough month. So um, for any of you guys out there who've been suffering with a little bit of winter blahs or uh, feeling a little bit down, I got you. I hear you. And just do something that makes you feel good. If it means it's a bag of M&Ms, eat the damn M&Ms, right? If you want to craft and make 20 million of the same card, craft and make 20 million of the same cards while you watch, uh, binge watch, uh, Netflix, whatever you need to do to get through it, right? <sighs> Yay. So, okay, let's put this sucker together. It's it's not going to take long at all, friends. So now my next step always when I layer my bits is I'm going to put lots of foam squares on here. 
let's throw some embellishments on here too. Let's look at our title. What title should I put on here? Uh, my shirt says party animal. And I need to think of um, should I do you do you? You do you? Help me with this. Do do. I was going to cancel a planned day skiing last week and because of the freezing temperatures, but decided to go just to have something to scrapbook. In the end, I had a wonderful day skiing, and I think there is a lesson in that somehow. Work a bit harder. I lost it just a second. Uh, to make a life that is worth scrapbooking. I love it. And just worth living, right? Just worth living. So I'm going to take that, um, your advice too. And I will get out and take some pictures of the snow this weekend. Thank you, Arlene. Hi. Hi, Bri. What are you doing? That was a growl. Did you hear me growl at 1230? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, sure. Bye. Um, sorry, got distracted by the boy child. I need a title. I need a title. This was from New Year's Eve too, right? I had mini eggs with my tea. You needed chocolate. Go for it, Karen. I love mini eggs. I need to crunch all the shell off before I bite through the chocolate with my mini eggs. I need to crunch all the outer shell up. So I would read original party animal. Oh, I love that. But I don't want to put party animal in there because it's too many words. So help me. Do I love my Fisker's cutter? Um, I do. I love that one, the travel orange one. Um, I do like that one. I have tons of different ones, but I always I pull that one out. I think just because it's small and compact. Um, I got to figure something out here. I gotta figure something out. I wanna put a title here and one down here. And it might just be these. Oh, maybe something off here. Let's see, because maybe um, we'll use something off here. Let's see what we have. And I know some of you guys were talking about that stuff missing on some of your thickers. Oh, it's a thing. Some of the stuff is a thing, right? It's hard. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Weekend vibes? Maybe. Right here. Oh, I like this. Right here. It was right here on here? Right here. Yes, let's do something right here. Um... I want a title at the top and something on the bottom. So what can we do that is something right here? Oh, my brain is so tired, friends. Um, how about this right here? This right here. I like that. What are we thinking? This right here. So I'm going to throw right down right now right I like this right here and then I can tie that in with my journaling Okay, let's see if there's something in the sticker book or in my embellishments that I can put here on. Decide if I want that up there or not. Just looking through. Mm. 
not sure. You can use one of these. I will tie that pinky color in there. Just so here isn't kind of floating, we'll decide where we're going to put it. But, And the other thing that is fun, friends, is when I'm done this, if I feel like uh, I need a couple more dots, I can add them in, right? Once your stuff gets on there, if um, you find that once you put your stuff down, that uh, maybe your uh, dots, you need one or two dots, you can always add it after the fact, right? Yeah, you need to take care of yourself, Sandra, right? We will be coming out the other side of this. It's going to happen. So we just need to do what we need to do now to keep everybody safe. And I am on board with that. And then just figuring out my new normal. Right here. Maybe like that. And then... I'm so excited for the new collection that I'm working on with my um, right hand lady. Name is Melissa um, at American Crafts, but it, you guys are going to love it. It is very, very pretty. So let's decide what we're going to layer up here. And then we can totally add pigment on these or leave them white. Oh, I just put here twice. <laughs> That's not what I was trying to do. That's not what you're doing, Vicky. You dum dum. As I laugh. That's what with Rich and I um, will say. Oh, you dum dum. And not in a, I know some of you guys will be like, really? You call your husband a dum dum? But no, it's more <laughs> like off of um, Night at the Museum. When he's like, do you have gum, gum, dum, dum? So it is our thing that we laugh because it'll be like, no, dum, dum. Okay, how are we doing here? Very good. I'm putting these away because you know, you know, Here's the other thing I'm going to say. You don't trust the adhesive on anything. Anything that I buy that has adhesive on it, I will still put glue on it or um, double-sided tape or whatever because everything falls off, the stickers, everything. So I just don't even take the chance putting those down here. And then let's decide if I want it that way or if I want it this way. And I think I'm going to layer some other stuff. I feel like I like that. And I have not popped anything up. And this is going to layer on that green piece a little bit. And let's see what other things we have to layer. An arrow would be good too. Let's see if this guy will work. Not that one. Not that one. I don't trust the adhesive on anything yet.
Yes, that one we'll just throw here, wherever we're going to use it. This right here can layer up some stuff in this column or in this corner. And then let's find some labely stickers. That is one of those things that I would, I could take like tons and tons of. I'm going to be adding, I have stuff, lots of stuff I've ordered to add to vickybooten.com. So be prepared for that will be coming soon. Just things that I feel like we need. Let me see if I can find my label punch. Um, things that I feel like we need. Just good basics to layer things on. Some good tools. Good punches. So um, I have ordered a whole bunch of things. So be prepared. They're going to be coming. This is one of my favorite punches. Do you guys have this one? That French label style thing is like one of my favorite things. Uh, let's decide. I'm just going to punch something out of the... Love it. I'm going to do this little yellow. Just this little yellow. Make a little tab. Ties the yellow in from the animal. And then this. Like that. I love it. So I'm going to commit my mats and then start gluing some stuff down. Uh, you stitch through the thickers with a regular sewing machine. You definitely can, right? I don't know if this is a real thing or not, but I find crafting under my ot light helps my mood during the long cold winters. It totally could, um, Shelly. And definitely upping your vitamin D will help too, right? Um, definitely upping the D. But yeah, I wonder if it, it has like a sunlight effect. It could be a thing. It could totally be a thing. Okay, I'm going to um, put, oops, my, look at the back of that paper. So pretty with the daisies on it. I'm going to throw some foam squares on here. I'm going to glue the green one down solid. Move these again. I'm going to lift some of that R and the T because I would like to slide this under it. Is Natalie still here? You still here, Nat? How you feeling? Are you all better now if you're here? Hi, Leanne. How are you, my sweet friend? I hope you're doing okay. How's Gary? Hi, Nat. How are you doing? Are you feeling better, my friend? I have not talked to you much. I haven't talked to anybody, so no one should feel like they are the only ones neglected because I literally don't come up for air, and it has just been that way, but Natalie's probably laughing and going, do you ever? Because she has been with me since the beginning of the Vicki Booten creative team days. And she's like, nothing has changed. You're still a whack job. Um, question, how big is that green mat? Well, my photo isn't a true four by six because when I cropped it, I need to make it smaller. 
This mat is about six and a quarter by five and a half. Six and a quarter by five and a half, if that helps. Okay, so we're laying our little, our bones down here. Um, I did pop up the orange mat. So it is popped up and then the blue one is flat and then the photos popped up. Uh, yes, but we need to chat to get organized for the year. Yes, we do, Natalie. But I'm just trying to put fires out as they come right now. I am certainly not. But look at I have to say, more organized than ever, because you guys had uh, a tool list and things we were going to use for tonight. I didn't just come on here and surprise you. So I feel like that's winning. Right? That's winning. And then I just like to curl my edges because this will still go nicely in your page protector. So friends, you could totally have done this if you're a card maker and scrapbooking isn't your jam. Um, you still can do that, right? Um, are you still the same one? <laughs> but now you own Smurf Real Estate, 100%. I bought myself a Smurfette's house on my sweater. There. Okay, so that guy is stuck down. And then I'm going to decide if I want. I might put this here with like a heart or something. We'll decide. I don't know. Was color study in Joanne? Was color? Yeah, color study should have been jo in Joanne. Uh, they did not pick up Storyteller or Fernwood. Fernwood isn't in Joanne. But color study should have been right. But it, I don't even, would it still be in there? I'm not sure. Like it, it, it may not be there anymore. Do you know what I mean? I'm not sure if it's there anymore. Because they may have reset that section. Don't know if I'm doing that just yet. Where'd my little yellow piece go? I lost it, friends. <laughs> There, it blew away. It blew away. Ours only had a few pieces of color study left. Yeah, like that, it's color studies older now, right? So I'm not sure if you will find any color study now, but um, I'm sure still at uh, scrapbook.com and Cherry on Top still have some pieces. Your local scrapbook stores for sure um, will still have some unless they've cleared it out. I uh, have a bunch of fern wood that I'm going to be adding because now that all the kits are done, I do have a couple extra pieces that I will put up. Um, but you, it's still out there, friends. Some of the stuff is still out there. So this is going to go like here somehow. And then I'm going to decide if I'm going to color it or just leave it white. But I still feel like I need to do some filler. So let's decide what that's going to be. I'll decide what that's going to be. Really? Um, it would be wherever they have... It should have been anywhere they have designer destination. So where they do the whole wall of American crafts artists, right? It just makes you happy to say the word, I, the name. I love it, Lynette. Um, I snagged a few of the specialty papers from Color Study on clearance at Joanne's. Yay. That's awesome, Krista. Yeah, I have a whole bunch. Like, I have a whole bunch. I know the rain, the butterflies and uh, the vellum is sold out for Fernwood. I have that. I'm going to be adding a whole bunch of stuff. But, yeah, um, now we're getting to a point, right, with, like, what's left. What's left? Do we want to add, maybe? I might want to tie some of that yellow, and I would put this ruler down anywhere. So let's decide. I might do that because I feel like this is kind of naked. So I'm hoping I might have to add some adhesive now that I'm lifting it up and putting it back. But 
I feel like it needs a little something right here. And I'm going to put this little piece of ruler right there. Like that. Ties my yellow. We'll see if now if I press these really hard, if I can get to stick. I like that. Do you see that gave it just a little bit of, of um, weight at the bottom of the page? And this is just kind of a little random leaf on here. And then a little heart. I need a little heart. That would make me happy right there. Oh, look it. I found one. Hi, Pam. How are you? Hi, Mary. How are you? Just wanted to say that I'm doing the winter Gina Libby method. Trying. What did you say? To take off a few COVID pounds. You're looking great, by the way. Thank you. And Mary, it's a great program. Um, this has been very hard. I have been suffering through January. I just am, but today has been a good day. I did have like, so here, give you an idea. So I'm doing this. And so with Gina Livy for your supper would be protein first and then veggies and a fat. And I had because they were getting Chinese and I'm like, well, it's Friday. I don't really want to have to deal with making supper because I have Friday Night Live. So I had tonight uh, Dai Dop Voi, which is like, a, it's pretty much just meats and vegetables. So I had that tonight, which was perfect on plan. But the sodium is so stinking high um, that I'm just really guzzling my water. So my weight may be up tomorrow because of the sodium. Um, but I totally found something that I could have that was on plan, right? Um, and I ate one chicken ball. And I'm not really being mad at about that because I'm like, it was one chicken ball I don't think is going to do me in. Uh, but yes, I feel good. I feel like I'm on track. I hope you're doing well with it, right? But look, I love this, friends. And that little piece of yellow that's not attached with the gold here. And I'm going to put maybe one more thing here. And then I can put my journaling on here. I could stitch on here if I wanted. But I don't feel like, I think some of these can be super simple. I love this. This The photo pops on it. Like you don't need to do a ton, a ton, right? You can get some really, really fun effects. And you don't have to put a ton of stuff on your page. And I am really digging it. So I'm digging this. I don't think it needs much more. I could if I wanted to. Like you could add, you know, another element if you wanted. Like something linear. The pen could work. Ties the black in. But I don't even know. I might not add anything else. Maybe a piece of paper with a border punch. Just like do a little something right there. Let's look. I could add a little bit more of the yellow. Here's another yellow. Let's just do a little bit of this. So I'm going to try that. Let's see what it looks like. This little idea I have. And then I feel like it's done. And I'm actually quite happy with this. I enjoyed. So Vicki, why, what, what was your favorite part about tonight? The company. I really enjoyed visiting. And for the creative side of it is that I feel like any, there's no one out here who couldn't do what I did tonight as long as you have something that'll make a circle and some ink. Um, this was not a super difficult technique, but I feel like the result is very impactful. And the other thing that I love, I'm gonna put one more circle here just so you know is that um, the layout, you could put multiple photos on here if you wanted to. It does not have to be, if you're like, I hate one photo layout, don't do a one photo layout then, right? You could put multiples on here. You could have got three photos or one four by six and two three by fours, whatever you want to do, right? But I'm really, I'm quite happy with how this turned out. 
you do not have to reinvent the wheel every single time to get a fun effect. And the other thing is it's manageable in a Friday night, right? Um, we know that I aim for, I'm usually here for two hours. Like it's probably never going to be less than that by doing a technique and a layout. It takes about two hours. So we're going to be finished up at about 10. I just took this yellow piece. Let's see. It's too big, but I'm thinking a little hint of that could be fun. I like it. I like it. See a little hint of that in there. Decide where I'm going to do it. I'm going to take that piece out too. See? Put it right here. I like it. I only want a little peek of it to show though. So I'm going to cut part of that off. Uh, it was great to have the list of supplies. I'm working on that, Shelly. Um, I've planned out for all of this, uh, the next four. So you're going to have the list of supplies even earlier next week because my instructions will be done tomorrow and then it's going to be um, smooth sailing. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm working on them. I'm getting up in the morning. Now you all know that I have to stay up till 1230 to pick Riley up. So I'll watch a little Netflix when I'm done here. I'll go get my baby boy and then I will be writing instructions. And then next week's Friday Night Live, I'm going to put this behind the green. I just want a hint, a little hint there, just because that's a lot of white space right there. That makes me very happy. I might switch this piece out, though. Oh, look. But I don't think I want blue. What do I want to pull in? I would like a little bit of orange. And that will make me doubly happy. I just need a little orange piece and then I'm good to go. I don't actually even need anything. I lied. I'm just taking that out. I'm going to put my arrow there. And then do we like, I kind of like these just white, right? I don't think they need any color on them. What do you guys think? I could put a little hint of the orange, this one on here. Let me show you if I have it around, right persimmon. And my water brush is in here. Here, I'm changing my mind. I'm gonna get pencil crayon out. Do I have one that will go? Let's try it. Let's try it. A little bit of orange. Sorry, you guys can't see for a second because I'm just coloring in a little bit of orange with my pencil crayon. What do we think? Yeah, I like that. That works for me. I'll show you closer and I will take, but yes. So um, there is the fun thing that next week on Thursday, I will post exactly what you need for Friday because it's already planned. I've already planned it out. So um, I will definitely post so that you can grab your supplies before Friday night. Okay. I will post the link to the video. It's water soluble. I don't know if they are. They are. So I could come in here with a little bit of water after and soften that color out. So all I'm doing is adding a very light layer of pencil crayon just along the top of the letters and then a little bit darker to lighter little circular coloring 
I love it because these letters do have a slight pinstripe in the background. And these are aqua color. So I could come back in here and soften it up with water after and blend out my lines. If I feel so inclined, which I don't know if I will. But that is all that needed. And I will show you a little closer. I love that. Can you see that little bit of orange? Share a sale link. Share sale links are posted in Facebook video posts. They are. They're posted on YouTube in the description of this video. Because there, look at I was on the ball. And when I posted all of this, I did add all of my share sale links. So if there is anything you have felt uh, so inclined to purchase at um, the only ones that I have share sale links for is scrapbook.com, Cherry on Top, and Simon Says Stamps. Um, my links are all there. I, I have posted. Um, the other thing, friends, that I will be um, posting and then I will send out information on is on vickybooten.com. I am going to um, update. I have a bunch of punches. I have tools. I'm going to um, update some of the fernwood I have. So if you're placing order for anything else, um, I will be updating my store shortly. Um, there are lots of store owners on here tonight. So um, definitely, you know, if you guys have stuff in your store that um, will help people here tonight, you are always welcome. The only thing, even in the Facebook group, I am always okay with you guys sharing your store information and say you're selling. The only thing I don't allow is a sale post because it's not fair to uh, the other stores that are carrying the product. So, but you know that I am quite happy to help you guys in that endeavor. But I love this. Um, oh, Julie, I'll always be adding stuff. Uh, it's it just right now, like that, that's a big job to add to my store and to have to photograph it and put it all in there. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, but it's coming. But I love how this turned out. What do you guys think? And then all I have to do is add a little bit of journaling. I might stitch on it a little bit. I will photograph it so I can share it. But um, I, oh, remember I said, I think it needs one more circle. So let's just find any ink, any one of the ink blending tools. And the smallest of the circles, of course, I can only find one size now because everything's all over the place. Let me find it. I think we need one right here. Little tiny one. Put those away. Any questions too, friends? Well, I'm looking for my crap. I'll just make a new one. Because here's a piece of paper. Do you like it, Natalie? It's fun, right? And I think by making it, let's just lift this off for a sec. Contrasty. Um, that it doesn't, like a lot of you probably never would use uh, the colors, maybe. You wouldn't have used blue with this photo, right? Are a lot of you out there going, I am actually very surprised that Vicky did a blue background with this photo. Because I'm sure some of you, right, are more matchy-matchy. But I think the contrast makes it pop. If I would have matched everything, then it might not have popped. See these? I think I glued them down. Yeah. I put a little adhesive on those too. The other thing you could definitely do if you wanted to highlight this a little bit more is you could put some sequins in here. You totally could go in with some sequins or with some foam dot or um, tone on tone. Like, look at, I have like those colors that I could totally use on here if I wanted to. I don't think I will, but you totally could do that if you wanted to. 
okay this is just the first layer right you could go in and do lots of different things but i think that was fun and doable tonight you know a lot of times when we're working we do things that there's no way you guys are going to finish with crazy in the crazy vicky world hi but tonight was definitely doable start to finish i didn't do anything ahead of time right and this is what it ended up turning out like and can you see oops sorry it's hard everything's backwards so i put a little bit of orange just a hint at the top and then oop. fun right that turned out fun Okay, now I can see your comments and questions and grab my tea with my lipstick all over it. Stay sassy. Um, hi, Michelle, how are you? Uh, I posted access only. It's up there. Um, so let's recap because some things I will say at the beginning of the live that uh, maybe you came in halfway through, um, I will recap now. We are studying this the next four weeks, because I can't say this month because it's kind of overlapped, um, is Boca Technique, B-O-K-E-H, which is um, diffuse light spots. Like it's a photography term that is changing your depth of field to make the background blurry. And if there are sources of light, it will shine like polka dots. So it is not a new technique. It is definitely not something that I am um, discovering on my own. It's out there. So tonight was adding bokeh with layers in a monochromatic color palette, which we did with Distress Oxides or whatever inks that you use and a mask. Um, I have, I wrote it down and I don't remember where it is. It is, so we are going to do one technique where we are going to um, lay pigment down and we're going to take circles off of it. So we're going to build backwards. Um, we are going to do a technique where we do watermarking on an inked background. We are going to do a technique where we ink a whole background and then go in and add the color with white. So we are going to do four different studies of bokeh techniques. And what's fun is hopefully in all of that, you will find something that you can use that you have at home, right? So it's gonna be fun. And next week will be a card. We'll do the technique and then we will make a card out of it. And then um, it's usually supposed to be four different things. So maybe there might be two layouts, uh, a card and a, um, a six by eight page for my uh, mini book. Um, sometimes it might be too many book pages, like it could be any combination, but this time there are four, some there's going to be three, some there might be five it's different, um, studies of a technique or a theme. So for the next four weeks, our theme is Boca. The other thing I wanted to let you know is next weekend is the Fernwood weekend, Saturday and Sunday, all day Saturday is the album class and, um, all day Saturday is the album class, on, on Sunday is the layout portion. If you have lots of Fernwood and you didn't purchase this, the kit and you want access only, meaning that you can come and partake in the class, um, I have posted that on vickybooten.com. It's in multiple places on my store. If you look under what's new, if you look under Fernwood, if you look under um, virtual events, it's all there. It's 40 Canadian for 15 hours easy of um, education. It's there for my friends in New Zealand and Australia who bought kits from Natalie and Michelle. Your access only is posted there. Uh, I think that's everything. I think, um, did we have questions? I love how you teach us every Friday night live a technique and then build on it every week after that. It really makes it more approachable and less scary. Thank you. You're welcome, Heather. I think this is a good formula. Like we found a good formula and it makes it easier for me too, because I can, I don't have to show you 50 techniques of one thing in one night. Like I feel like it's a, a great way um, to spend time together. And uh, it's a great way for me to, share the information in yummy bite-sized pieces. So I think it's helpful. 
I'm bummed I'll be missing the class live, but be thinking of you guys when I'm drinking it up in cowboy boots with some girlfriends in Fort Worth stockyards next week. And have fun, Carrie. That'll be fun. Um, it's a nice pace. Yeah, I think it's good. Uh, anything else? Did I miss anything? So looking forward to Boca study. It's fun, right? It's a fun thing. Like I said, it's it's been out there for a long time, but I'm going to try to put some fun twists on it as we go along. Um, I think, right? Get your butt cushions ready for class. Yeah, I'll give you a chance to stretch too. It's going to be good. You're going to have so much fun. And if you've never done one of those with me, it's, it's, we have a pretty fun time. Like it will, it's a long one on Friday because that album, there's a lot going on in it, but uh, all the cutting diagram is done. Um, we're going to, I'm going to prep, sh share the fussy cutting with you. I might do a little impromptu live this week, maybe Wednesday so that I can talk to you and start doing some of the fussy cutting with you so we can do it together and then we'll be ready for Saturday. But uh, if you guys have any questions about that, make sure if you haven't already that you have joined the Facebook group because that is where I share all of the information. I do not send emails out because it's too unpredictable that a lot of you guys don't get the information. So if I know it's all in the Facebook group, you guys can all go to that one spot. There's rhyme and method to the madness. Rhyme and reason and method to the madness. So some of you are like, but I don't have a Facebook account. Set up a Gmail account just for that and then go and set yourself up a Facebook account with a weird name, Pretty Kitty, whatever your Facebook name is, uh, just to access the group. It, nobody can send you any information. They can't find your information. They can't track you down. So if you hate Facebook for reasons like that, just set up a separate Gmail account only for Facebook. And then I just find it's the easiest way for me to put all the information in one spot. If not, just make sure you email me and I will email you links. Okay, but I'm not going to be sending out a general email because people half the people don't get them it's too hard to send mass emails out so um hopefully that helps as well it doesn't feel rush this way for us slower crafters i love it just signed up for access yay we need to chat soon about yes so my friend michelle is here let's talk about this so um next year i will be doing the because is it next year we're going to look at michelle I think we're looking at next year, I'm going to be in New Zealand and we're going to look at a cruise. So for my friends that are in Australia and New Zealand, I'm coming your way. I'm setting it up with Michelle. I'm planning on spending maybe a month in that area so that I can go and visit places in New Zealand because it's one of my favorite places in the whole world. And I need to go and do and see my friend Michelle and all my other friends. And then we're looking at doing a uh, crafting cruise. And then I will be doing um, a visit to a couple different places in Australia as well. So we are going to start planning that. And I'll be talking to you guys about that because that's another thing. Maybe some of you want to join me on that cruise. That would be fun. It's a beautiful area. So um, I think that's it, right? Loving the new collection. Fernwood, yes, thank you. I'm loving it too. Uh, see, now when you say new collection, like, we have, I have, you guys haven't seen yet, but I have worked on, are you ready? There are three coming. Oh, well, you've seen one. Sweet Rush is out. So three new collections, three are coming. So I have been doing all of that. Um, so when you say new collection, I get confused. I don't, I'm like, what, which one are we talking about? And then, so it's very exciting. So. I think I'm done. I talk a lot and I'm sure you guys have other things to do, like go to sleep. Um, but uh, please come to Western Australia. Where is that, Shelly? So help me. If I were going to visit two or three places in Australia, where should I go so that I could find as many of you as possible? Well, I want to go wherever Natalie is. So wherever Natalie is, I think that we need to go and do some kind of event uh, there with Nat. Um, and then I have to figure out two other places. And then so I can see as much as well, right? And no spiders or crocodiles or whatever and snakes. <laughs> but I will happily see kangaroos. So you guys will have to help with that. 
and Natalie needs to stop making fun of my, tell Natalie to stop making fun of my sweater. She keeps saying that it's saying I look like I have Smurf Village on my sweater. She hurt my feelings, Natalie. <laughs> Melbourne, Melbourne, Brisbane, and Sydney. See, right opposite side of the country to New Zealand. Uh, we get missed a lot because so far and isolated. Well, we just have to figure out where the people would be, right? And then hopefully I give you enough time that you can plan accordingly. So Perth is Western Australia. Yeah, so we'll figure it out, right? We have ca kangaroos in the yard all the time. And you have pet snakes. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of the snakes. But I would, if it's your pet snake, it'd be a whole different thing. But your snakes can eat a person, can't they? <laughs> no, no snakes. I must, I'm afraid. Snakes and sharks. So I'm not going swimming in your waters either because I've seen the movies. I know there's sharks there. So anyway, but uh, look at, I digress, right? Um, but we are going, we have lots planned. I feel like we're coming out of the world. And I know my friend Kari is going, I just saw the cruise list. So I'm very excited. We have the cruise and there are still spots, very limited because I'm going to shut it down soon. I just know that I am. Um, for our European cruise. So we're going out of England and we're going to uh, France and to Spain. There are still spots left for that. Uh, but the one in the fall is completely sold out with a waiting list. So um, very exciting. So now I'm starting to plan the new stuff, the things for 2023. So that'll give you lots of time for you guys to plan around it. Uh, thanks so much, Joan. And I don't know if, are you having surgery? Is that what, is that what was happening? I missed whatever the comments were. So whatever's going on with you, sending you lots of love, um, we'll figure out all of the things with whatever I've missed here, but I think that's it for tonight. I'm going to wrap it up and go hang out with my husband, but thanks so much. I will put the information out for next Friday by next Thursday with the details of what you will need. I think, yeah, I have to look at that one, which one we'll do next week. Cause I'd like it to be a progression of easiest to a little bit more challenging, right? So that I warm you up and I get you comfortable with what we're doing. So thanks so much um, for tonight. Uh, you made me feel better after a really, really rough week emotionally and work-wise. So uh, take care and thanks, Nat, even if you do give me a hard time. Uh, have a great night. I hope you get a chance to make something with the technique we did tonight. Make sure that you head over to uh, the Vicki Booten Creative Community on Facebook if you haven't joined already. Uh, come over there and share with me what you're making. If you post on Instagram or anywhere else, make sure you tag me so I can see and uh, give you lots of love. So have a great night, have a great weekend, and uh, I shall see you next Friday. And if you're partaking in Fernwood, you'll see me before that. So have a great night, friends, and we'll see you later. Bye.